Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cloudmersive YouTube channel. For the next video in our Power Automate tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to easily translate an English text document into German using the Cloudmersive NLP connector. While tools like Google Translate are still perfect for short sentences and phrases, this connector presents a better option for translating larger bodies of text. Let's get started. From the Power Automate homepage, click Create on the left-hand side of the page, and then select the Instant Cloud Flow option. After that, give your flow a relevant name, and then select the option to manually trigger a flow before pressing Create at the bottom. Once you're on the Flow Design page, click New Step and type File Content into the search bar. In this step, we're going to get the file that we want to perform the NLP operation on, so make sure the action you select is relevant to the application your file lives in. My file is in SharePoint, so I'm selecting that option below, and then I'm selecting my site address. To then find your file, click on the file icon and navigate the folder path until you find it. Once you do, select it, and this step is all done. For the next step, we're going to include the Cloudmersive NLP connector. Type Cloudmersive into the search bar, and you'll see several Cloudmersive connector options come up below. The one we want is the NLP connector with the orange logo, so you can go ahead and select that when you're ready. During this step, you'll be asked to provide your Cloudmersive API key to authenticate the use of this connector. If you don't have one, you can quickly register for a free account on the Cloudmersive website, and you'll receive one shortly after. Once you enter that information into the connector, it'll save for the next use, just like mine has. When you're ready, search English to German into the NLP Action search bar and select the first option from the list below. For this action, there is only one parameter to satisfy, and it's super easy to do so. All you need to do is click on the Text to Translate bar and select the File Content option from the Dynamic Content window. This will ensure the text from the input file is analyzed in the operation. With our parameters satisfied, it's time to wrap up the flow with one final operation. Click New Step, and this time type Create File into the search bar. Select the option below that aligns with the application you want your translated file to be stored in. If you're using SharePoint like me, once again define your site address for this operation. Then, you'll need to specify the new folder path, name, and content for the new file. Click on the folder icon to follow the folder path to the folder you wish to choose. Then, give your file whatever name you want, and depending on the file type, end the name with the appropriate suffix. Finally, click on the File Content search bar and select the output content from the operation that you want. I am only interested in the translated text result, so I'm selecting that option and my flow is all done. Now it's time to save and test the flow. Click Save at the bottom, and then click Test in the upper right corner of the page when you're ready. Click on the option to manually trigger the flow, and then click Test at the bottom again, followed by Continue and Run Flow. The runtime for this flow will depend on the amount of text included in your document. You'll know the operation is complete when green check marks appear in the upper right corner of each box in the flow. If there are any obvious errors that deter the flow from running, you'll receive those instantly on the right side of the page. With testing complete, it's time to check the target folder to make sure the newly translated file is saved there. As you can see here, I have a newly created file translated and saved to my specifications. Saving a Power Automate button like this will put your future English to German translation needs to rest. If you want, you can even choose to make this flow automatic, which is great for dealing with high volume of content in the future. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more Power Automate tutorials in the near future.